Okay, Roy. Speedy. Well, Madonna has called, and as always, we have come. This time to the secluded Larrabee studio in North Hollywood, where she's about two thirds of the way through her new album. Let's go see what it sounds like. Hello? Hello? Kurt? Kurt? You there? Yeah. You hear the effects? Yeah. That too bright. Why don't you go over soft? there? You the soft oh no, because he's over there. Never mind. Why don't I just shut up and stop directing you all? Should we do one more song or not? Let's do one more. Okay, yeah. Surprise let's do, us let's with something. Let's do Little Star. Okay. Just for, yeah. All right. For something completely different. Okay. What was the inspiration for this? For which? Little Star. Lola. Oh. Otherwise known as Lourdes Maria. Ah. How's she doing? <laughs> it's my one. It's my one super sentimental song on the album. Well, everybody should have one of them. Exactly. Think. Where's my engineer? Uh, oh. Well, we always bring Lola in when we're, we're when we're like three cars away to do a song, and if she grooves to it, then we know we're we're in the right place. Is she pretty accurate about that? Oh yeah. Oh. No, that's pretty. Yeah. Those are incredibly dense tracks. There's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. Did you put all that on there yourself? Myself? Well, I mean, did you I instruct did others to do so? Or? Uh, well, I would say that it was a collaboration between them. Um, everybody. Uh, between me and what? William Orbit, where can, is Can William? we meet some of these people? Yes, I would love to introduce them to you, okay? Uh, can we get a... Uh, yeah. Well, this is Pat McCarthy, my engineer, oh, otherwise known as Pat Man. So they, these tracks seem really, really dense with stuff. Is this hard for an engineer to keep it all, like, discreet? Discreet? <laughs> discreet. <laughs> Isn't that a technical term? Discreet. Come on. Um, it comes to me pretty well arranged. Well, okay, I guess that so, says it all. All right, we'll I move can, on. I can just turn this right around. <laughs> <laughs> to whom? To, what, to William Orbit. Oh, let's go over here. William? <clears throat> William Wainwright III? Damn, little stools in the way. <laughs> Otherwise known as William Orbit. And what is what is William brought to this project, Madonna? Um, wow, that's a big <laughs> question. <laughs> well, a certain brand of sort of madman type genius, really. Mm. Would you say that's yes. accurate? <laughs> I'm lost to know. <laughs> So, so what, what have you what have you added to this record? It sounds unusual. Um, crunch, crunch bites, bubbles, chewiness. Huh? Uh, <laughs> There's a know. lot of bubbly bits. <laughs> Lock, locked in goodness. There is a lot of bubbly bits. Yeah, yeah. I noticed yeah. that. Um, let's go over here. Oh, all right. Marius. Yes. Marius Van Wyck. <laughs> I'm sorry to patronize you. <clears throat> and I worked with Marius on my bedtime story mm -hmm. record. So this is a lot different from that. I, I would assume. Yes, it is. In what yeah. way? Um, the music's different. Naturally, something. naturally, Marius, I know that, but I mean... Uh, there's more sort of, I don't know, more, more synthesizer stuff, mm -hmm. more interesting more techno. abstract sounds. <laughs> Who else should we talk to, Madonna? Uh, Matt! <laughs> Matt, come over here! He's got no respect for authority. Exactly, <laughs> which is, we need one rebel. Okay. Has it been a pleasant experience for you? When he's not talking on, his, on the phone to his girlfriend or chain-smoking cigarettes. Ooh, <laughs> in California, you know, that's, that's not allowed. Okay, and guy. everybody knows who Guy is. No, no one knows who Guy is. Guy. Oh, please. Well, I mean. Happy birthday. That's his birthday. That's your birthday. Oh. 20, 23, 25. Oh, my God. Wow. Do you think you'll see 26 at this rate? Yes. Yes. Looking forward to it. Now, what has been your uh, your your role in this album? Um, just helpful. Helpful friend. You know, he's our, our discerning ear. Oh. So, is that everybody? Um, yeah. It's a, it's a trim little this crew. This is our family, yeah. We, oh, we right. you know. Now, you're, where, where are you now? You're like three quarters of the way through, you said? Three, yeah, we've got a couple more tracks to cut. We're working on a new song today, and then we start mixing. We've mm. mixed a few things. There are certain kinds of records that I always listen to. Mm. Most of them come from England, a few from France, and it, it's a certain kind of a sound. I can't describe it. And um, the Dense, only way thick. to get, well, the only way to get that sound is to work with the people that make those records. So uh, here we that. are. Their songs had a, I don't want to get too technical or anything, but I mean, they, they had a very yes. defined landscape, if you like. There's mm. a lot going on. And I kind of assumed that, like, you spent ages on it. And when, when I came down the studio and saw how quick it was, I was a bit blown away, actually, because mm. I take ages on stuff. This is definitely a very full on production for Madonna as well. I think it's important to mention that because I'm, mm. I mean, that's what I do for a living. And I'm learning a lot of production techniques off of you, which I hadn't figured I was going to do coming into this project. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, more in, ah. I'm more instinctual. You don't waste a lot of time thinking. That, you know, I'm not a musician at mm. all in, the, in that respect. I'm not a trained musician. Yeah. So maybe that comes in handy. Go well, into the vocal booth. Uh, where is it? You know what? Why don't, on the way there, why don't you just show them around like you did before on the way there? Okay. Show them <coughs> a little tour right. on the way. All right, so this uh, is the. So uh, I guess you guys were going to do skin. Skin. Okay. 
right? That's the name of the song we're working on today. Um, but I don't think we want to go with the harmony route right now. We'll did you change the name of that song? Yeah, I did. Oh, what was it called changed, before? Never mind. <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't tell anybody. I just wondered. So this is the... Uh, this is the lounge area mm -hmm. that's different from the other lounge area. What this goes on in here? A Matt usually calls his girlfriend in here. Oh. This is the guitar garden. Oh. Now, which one, this is where which one is your, if I had a hammer guitar here? Listen, I really don't play the guitar. These are all William's guitars. Oh. And he goes insane in here, okay? Wow. I know nothing about any of them. Hmm. All right, so we just put them through a Marshall. That's all I know. And here's and this, my, this is my little garden. Okay, and this is, I see you have here uh, a lot of tea. My ginseng tea. See? Some. Somebody came in here and set decorated it, you see? Some oh. Isn't that that's sweet? Sweet. All right, so you're going to do skin. Mm hmm. But you know, it won't sound good in here. You, you should go in there and listen. Well, I think we're getting a feed off the board. So we'll hear the feed, but we'll see you. Marius, that was wrong, wasn't it? Okay, go back. Did I do that wrong? Did I do that wrong? Was I close my eyes in the right place? It was right? It was right? It was right? Well, if I sang the well, verse right, just pick it up right after, up right after the last, I closed my eyes. It's almost psychedelic, dare I say. Yeah. Drug music without drugs. Yeah. Is that possible? Well, I guess it None is. None of us are on anything. Hmm. It's possible if you have really free people. Yeah. Because ultimately, that's what drugs do. They free your mind and give you the feeling like you have, you know, yeah. no inhibitions. You can go anywhere. So you're just in touch with your inner whatever. And my inner self? Yes. Uh, well, I, I'd like to think I am. I mean, I... It's, I've come a long way. I used to think I was in touch with my inner self, and then I realized that was my inner ego. <laughs> um, What's the difference? Because the ego is all, you know, gratification for yourself alone. Mm. It's not very much sharing and, and kindness so and generosity. So does this have anything to do with having children? Because children, of course, uh, put <laughs> something in your life that you, gives you something else to live for besides yourself. It has a lot to do with that. I mean, yeah. I think probably having her set me off on a new way of thinking, and then just gone down a different road yeah. period and g good for it it was very good for me too because then the writing of this record and the working on it it where i was going allowed me to be much more yeah. free and and experimental it's been really fun i've never had so much fun really working yeah. on it. never felt so free to experiment and yeah i mean some of it sounds like a big star fall in the sky or something there's just so much going on mm -hmm. yeah what is the rest of the, the album like? I mean, there are how many songs? 13, something like that? 14. 14. But I'll only put 13 on because 13 is a lucky number. Yeah, it is? Mm hmm. It, how is it a lucky number? 13 is the age when. Um, that's why boys get bar mitzvah at the age of 13, by the way. It's the age when the soul gets completely, like, sort of sol solidified in your body. When is you come into your own. Is this one of those Kabbalah things? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It is. So you've been doing some spiritual searching. Yeah. Kind of. Mm hmm When this is done, and when the record finally comes out, we, it's been a long time since you toured. You yes. Touring I, you again? You know what? I really want to tour with this record because I just like love it. It has so yeah. much cool energy, and it would be great. Um, I just, if I have to sing like a virgin, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> well, you don't have to do that. Because, you know. <clears throat> I know. I don't even want to sing Vogue. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I'm, I feel like that's like a hundred years away from me. Songs are like, they're like tattoos, you know what I mean? It's like you, they represent a, a time in your life, and if you've really moved on, yeah. it's hard to go back there and sing it with feeling. Yeah. Can, you, can you go out on the road and just do the new album? I'd like to. I don't know if I could do that. Who would stop you? Nobody. Nobody, well, Kurt. there. Well, let's go to the lounge and see if Lola's there. Okay. No? Let's go there anyways. Let me just see what these guys are doing, because I hate wasted time. <laughs> As well we know. What's the name of the album going to be? Do we know yet? I don't know that either. Mm. Mm -mm. We were thinking of calling it Veronica Electronica. <laughs> <laughs> Surely that, you'll think about that, that, is that one twice. Of my, that is one of my middle names. <laughs> but you didn't know that. A little bit of trivia. Veronica, I know that. Okay. I've known that for a okay. long time. Don't get loud, yeah, Kurt. Yeah, just sorry, you know. I like that Veronica Electronica. It's a bit silly. That. But you're in know. a silly, fun mood, you know? Yeah, I could, I, I, you know, you can, you can always, you know, last resort, take a title, a song title. And mm. use it. But that would be too easy, though. Yeah. I think. And the song's titles aren't even definite, are they? I mean, you'll be changing all them, too. Everything will be different by the time. Everything's comes out. changing constantly. 